Hello. I'm going to be starting off with Splatoon 3 because it is it just came out recently and it's been a really fun game to play on my Nintendo Switch. The whole objective of this drawing really was to get it done as quickly as possible while retaining a lot of the key features that I had in my art style. So here I was trying to use find many different ways to sketch this drawing out. I'm sorry, I could get it out as quick as possible and get a dynamic pose because lately my art has been very stiff. So I've decided to branch out more and try different things. The drawing after this is also kind of a reason to why this drawing was done so quickly. It was done in 10 hours, which may seem long for um, this type of drawing, but honestly, I'm just a really slow drawer. Drawer, oh my gosh. I'm just, I'm just a really slow artist, so it's not really adding up. But um, if anyone's wondering what sketching pencil I'm using, I'm using the Sigley pen pencil and Procreate the default pencil it is a very fun brush to play around with and um, I'm able to achieve many different like textures with the same brush. Uh, I had a lot of trouble drawing the katana sword and I don't even think I did it correctly. I think it came out great in the end. Uh, I started coloring with purple colors but then I changed them to, to brown and I just like add a purple filter over it, so it's easier for my eyes to understand what's going on. Uh, I didn't really do line art for this drawing because I wanted to try rendering it and doing different things to, to make it look re really cool. And I think I thought that rendering would be faster, but honestly, I, 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 I'll just stick with line art. Um, as you can see in the next drawing as well. Uh, those, all the splats, I, I went a little bit overboard in the beginning, but I was able to find a good middle ground um, as I went on. Don't forget to use references as well. Um, I'm using a lot of references in this drawing. It's just that I've moved them to a different screen on my laptop for me to make to make it easier for me to look at them because I don't need to like copy the colors anymore. Um, for the shading, I kind of I blocked down like a lot of colors and I uh, kept turning the rendering layer on and on and off so I could see the progress I was making. So that's why you see this drawing like flash a lot from this back to the sketch and back to the rendered part. Um, I started using the lasso tool to fill out colors and, and erasing them to cre create this cool gradient effect. It looks very, re really cool. And um, I tried to use as minimal shading as possible so I could not only do it faster, but also um, be able to achieve this type of style that I, I had envisioned in my head at the moment. Um, right now I'm just doing some, some touch-ups, cleaning up his shoes. Um, I'm also going through and adding gradients and things as such. I'm still referring to my references because they're, they're very good guides for me to use so I don't get confused halfway through. I'm defining this hairline, I'm adding features I forgot to add in the coloring and render in the sketching phase. I'm, try I'm playing around with colors and newer textures. Uh, this is kind of like an experimental phase, um, which is me finalizing the drawing. Um, and now I'm going to go through and start changing the splashes and um, making them look more colorful and getting them out of spots where I don't feel where they belong. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm using a hot pink color like on a different layer with lower opacity on this purplish color and it's making it look very vibrant. I don't know how to explain it, but it looks very nice. Here I am in the Splatoon 3 universe. Last but not least, and the reason why this video has taken me two months to make is because of this drawing specifically. The drawing of me in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet universe, the games that are coming out very soon. Um, so this drawing was the drawing that honestly is, is taking me the longest drawing to get done ever in my life. And the thing is, the drawing wasn't even that complicated, but um, due to me, doing, due to it being hard for me to make up my mind, um, it took me, Procreate shows that it took 24 hours to make, but honestly, it took it took me over like a few weeks of, of me just um, going back and forth with different ideas and changing different things. In the end, it was still pretty basic and I, I went with a safe option, which is kind of sad after all the time I wasted. 
um, trying to get everything perfect and perfectly right. But um, the whole thing that I was, trying, I was trying to go for was um, I was going to draw myself um, with Paul Day and Looper because I've already drawn myself in the Pokemon universe with um, the starter that I was going to use, Quaxley. So um, the thing about this was the uniforms, um, I, I got that wrong and I got so many things wrong. And the proportions were all, all out of whack like and they still are not I'm, I'm looking at it now but honestly i'm still very proud of where the drawing went the it, i was still like in my like learning how to use the program phase because i still had gotten procreate at this time so i was still trying to learn how to do it and i was trying to challenge myself by doing a full-blown drawing and um well it didn't really turn out the way i wanted it to turn out I feel like one of the reasons why this drawing took me such a long time to finish was because I also didn't use reference, which is a big mistake. The other drawing I used reference, so it was much faster to get done. Um, this drawing, I changed the proportions so many times because I was following references and I had no idea where everything was or where everything was going. I can draw without reference and all, but um, getting a full drawing done without reference was never a good idea and I should have never done it in the first place. Um, in this drawing, I decided to use um, more and more Gazinki ink. I, I don't know how to say pronounce it, but I'll write it on screen. Um, it's a default brush in the Procreate place, and it is the closest brush, I think, in my opinion, um, to the real G Pen brush in Clips Your Paint, and it feels really good to ink with. Uh, I like the texture. Um, though it has gaps in it sometimes so i will like duplicate the layer and merge the layer to um fix those gaps um they don't really matter um you don't really notice them but when filling with, with like the cut the fill bucket tool they are um, very known to deal with though uh it's the same principle that i'm using for my line art thick and thin depending on, on where the light's coming from and um variety of strokes allows me to make the drawing look more interesting for the viewer and um keep my and just keep it more fun Even for the colors, I didn't really use a reference. Uh, I kind of try to re reference a little bit of my older drawing of Quaxley for some of the colors. But other than that, everything else I didn't use uh, reference for. Uh, which, is, which is also a bad idea, but honestly, for the skin and everything else, I, I don't think I did a bad job coloring them. Uh, I went for a more painterly way of shading, and I tried to make my shading more subtle and not as intense but also subtle enough um intense enough for where you can notice it but subtle enough so that what do you call it um it looks soft in a way i don't really know how to explain it uh but in my drawings i, I try to avoid black as much as possible to um make my drawings look softer i also use um i also here i'm lightening his hands so that he, he looks black because black people have lighter palms um, I'm shading that as well. I'm now adding purples and grays in the shadows because it looks pretty. I don't know. How, I don't know how to explain it. It just looks pretty whenever I do that. Um, I am doing the same for the clothes. I'm using purples, and I'm using um, different types of blues and purples and yellows on the on the clothes and on the skin to make the, to make it look everything just look pretty and um, everything match together. Uh, I'm still experimenting with Procreate and everything that it has to offer, but this honestly has to be one of my best drawings so far. Uh, I'll also use the overlay layers um, and the light yellows for the lights and the dark purples and blues using the multiply layer for the shadow. Uh, I use, I don't know what brush that is, but I use a random brush to give the, his hair more texture. Um, I'm also going through with purple on the multiply layer and to shade Paul Dan Wooper. Uh, I'm most well, most of the coloring process. I'm just using the regular round brush. Uh, I'm coloring the eye like I regular I regularly do. Uh, I try to attempt the background as well. 
it's not really much but for me it's pretty impressive for what I tend to do so uh, I add some noise I blur it and um, here you can see me adding the final details I'm going through um, adding the small details I'm coloring his glasses in by the way I used the screen layer and I dimmed it very low um, I'm also playing around with different brushes and different sketches I am adding my signature and um, I'm pretty much done at this point I'm also just adding noise in the background to make it look more texture and pretty I'm putting little spots to um, to try to change them and make his hair look prettier I don't know how to explain it but it just gives his hair more texture and I'm just playing around here Thank you for watching the video, um, liking and subscribing would help a lot. Please comment down below what you would like me to do next and what you'd like me to draw next.